In Revelation chapter 22, verse 11, and it reads, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. The Lord is judging every man according as his work shall be. Whatever energy you put out, it's going to come back to you. You see? You want, you want to rehearse the right to the acts to the best of your ability? And look, the Lord's going to judge you according to that. You want to be wicked? You want to be a thief? You want to be a crook? You want to be a liar? You want to be an adulterer? Then the Lord's going to judge you according to your works. It's, it's all plain. It's all simple. It, it's like I, I was watching the news earlier, and I'm saying it was this um, Jake woman. I forgot what state she was in. Y'all know who I'm talking about, this Jake woman that went into um, one of these stores and stole some liquor. And, and all, all kind, remember, the wages of sin is deletion. The, the Lord is actually deleting people. The wages of sin is death. You see, you reap what you sow. What, whatever seed you plant, once it starts growing, you, you're going to reap the benefits of that. It's like this woman, you know, so she went into a liquor store, you know what I'm saying, a couple of days ago. She stole some liquor. She came outside. The cops, you know what I'm saying, told her to stop the car, to, to, to comply. When the scriptures tell us that in the book of St. Matthew, it, it says, agree with thine adversary. If, the, if you're committing a crime, it's like Jake commits a crime, gets judged for it, and the whole world gets mad. You, you committed the damn crime. You, you forgot about that. The person that got blasted down, the person that got locked up, you committed the crime. And now everybody, see, that's one thing about the, the earth right about now people protect criminals so so a person could be wicked as shit they go out there commit a crime they get judged for it in a harsh way and then everybody say why why you do why you do that to that person why you do that to that person he that is unjust the lord revelation 22 and 11 he that is unjust let him be unjust still the, the israelites that don't want to turn back they want to continue to be wicked a little, little, little let them be wicked they heard the word and that's the thing about it the lord's really judging people for real for real now because it's word and been out here for years now, especially since 2007, when, when the Lord had his man put the word on the internet. See, Jake's are really, the Lord said he winked at our ignorance. But, but now that we know better, we got to do better. Look, we got to do better. Because look, the things that we was doing when we first came in, the Lord's not letting it slide anymore. You've been in it for a couple of years. We should know better now. There's certain things that we shouldn't even be attempting to do. Now that we know better, the Lord's not letting it slide anymore. This word has went out. No excuses, man. The, the son, have, they, have they not heard? Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to come right back. I, I must be allowed to get that. I was watching the news earlier. We, we watch the news all the time. You see Jake getting judged. And as soon as Jake get judged for doing something wicked, so they're getting judged for doing something wicked. The whole world comes to their defense. Why you bang her down? Why why you lock him up? Why you do this? Thing? Look, look, why why you blast that little boy down? He won't he won't nothing but a gang banger. He he won't do nothing but terrorizing the damn neighborhood, causing havoc. He won't nothing but a damn menace to society. Why you take him off the earth? You see, you see what I'm saying? Romans chapter ten. There's no more excuses now, Jake. You know now. Romans chapter ten. Verse um, 17, so faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High, which is the words of the Bible. I say then, have they not heard? Yes, verily, meaning truly, their sound went out into all the earth, and their words into the end of the world by way of the internet. So every, pretty much every Jake knows about the Israelites now. Because if you listen to rap, if you watch movies, you know what I'm saying, uh, no matter what you do, no fat, no matter what fashion of life you're into, everyone is saying something about the Hebrew Israelites. So most definitely the Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, whether they, they wanted to accept it or not, or believe it or not, they didn't hear it well. If you're listening to Kodak Black, if you're listening to Kendrick Lamar, or any of these rappers, and they've been 
I've been going back to the old school reps where they, where they threw in if Dougie Fresh way back in the day. If you're listening to Dougie Fresh, he threw in the Israelites back in the days when he was rapping, man. Look, it's out there now. Have they heard? Have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went out into all the earth and their words until the end of the world by way of the internet. By way of the internet. So now Jake is being judged for their wickedness. The Lord calling them out now. Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is calling these Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians out now. So look, look, it, it is what it is. You get judged. You, know, you want to be unjust? Oh, look, look. Oh, well, B bear with me. And it's just some quick, I'm already at work right quick, but you watch the news, you see these wicked jakes being judged for their wicked acts, and everybody say, why you do that? That woman went into the liquor store, stole some down, so when she went into the, um, like either a Walmart or one of them stores, brothers and sisters know what I'm talking about, this happened like two days ago, she stole some liquor, she hopped in the car, and look, she was pregnant, and that's how you know that the cops, the scripts say, agree with thine adversary, you see, when the cop says, stop the car, she's supposed to stop the car, but no, she wanted to run over the car, and I'm saying, that's how you know the cop, boom, 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 now everybody's upset, you, you ask for that, you, you reap what you sow, right, the ways of sin is death, let's get this right quick, one more time, Revelation 22, and 11, he that is he or she that is unjust. Because remember, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man and a woman, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You see, we're supposed to be rehearsed. We're supposed to be at least re rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. We yeah, we up on a grace right about now, but do we transgress the words of the Bible just because we up on a grace? God forbid, all right? Revelation 22 and 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He or she, which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Because everybody that heard his word already, they don't want to take heed, move on. We, look, we're moving on. And he or she that is righteous, you're rehearsing the righteous acts of the Bible to the best of your ability. You're fearing the Lord first and foremost. Let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, the Lord has separated you. You know what I'm saying? The word holy means to be separate. You know what I'm saying? The Lord made you holy, made you separate from these people of the earth and two-thirds of our own people. Let him or her be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. Let us ran let us. Lord, you have speak speaking who they even call Jesus, and behold, I come quickly, like like a like a um a lightning, a lightning out of the heavens, right? And my reward is with me to give every man. So the Lord's come with gifts; He's coming with party gifts for everybody, right? And my reward is with me to give every man and woman according as His works shall be. You want to be wicked? You want to be evil? You don't want to do the right thing? You should know what your reward is going to be. You should know what your reward is going to be. Matter of fact. Romans chapter 6 verse 1, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? I want, I want to get the whole thing. Let's get the whole thing. Romans chapter 6 verse um. I started one. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yeah, how for a bit? How shall we say that we are dead in sin, live any longer therein? The scripture is basically saying we're up under the grace period right about now. So, so does that, just because we're up in the phone chimed in, just because we're up under the grace period, does that mean that the Lord has given us the license to just go off and do whatever the hell we want to and sin and transgress the law? Yeah, how forbid? You see? Just because we up on the grace, we still establish the law. We still rehearse the right. We still push the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible, even though we're up on the grace. So our people think they're up on the grace period, and everybody's not up on the grace either. Listen, matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that. Every Israelite is not on the grace right about now. We're going to show you according to the Bible who's up under that grace. Let's, let's go here. Let's just go here. We're just going to keep flowing. When you know better, you do better. Let's get this. Wisdom of Solomon. I think it's Wisdom of Solomon. Let's see. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 9. Just something quick to him already at work. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 9. We have no clue what we're being protected from, but we got to do the right thing. We got to do what is right and honest. You see, regardless of anybody around or not, man. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, which is the elect, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with them. For grace and mercy is to his saints, the Israelites, and he have care for his elect. 
So, so the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, they're the really, they're the ones that's really up on a grace right about now. He have care for his elect. He's giving them enough time to get it together. And plus, the Lord is going to put His Spirit on the hopeful elect. No, saying, Lord, one we part of that hopeful number, that elect number. To, the Lord's going to keep His Spirit on them to do what is right to get their house in order before it really go down, man. This is basically what the scriptures are saying in a nutshell. You see, they that put that trust in him shall understand the truth. We understand the 100% truth according to the Bible. These Israelites are actually being judged for what they have been doing in this life and their former lives. They're being judged for it. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints, which are the Israelites. But then the Lord gets real pacific. Listen, Israel, the Lord gets real pacific and he have care for his elect. You see that? The Lord has care for the elect. So the elect, don't say, are going to get their acts together. Lord, we're we part of that hopeful number. But I want to go here. Like I said before, no matter of fact, let's get this. Let's get this. It's all, the Lord showed me that. Let's get this right here. We up, look, we up under the grace, you know what I'm saying? But we still rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, the commandments, the laws, the statutes. We still rehearse them, man. Because what? Because what? Faith without works is dead. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus, right? And the law that endure forever. So the law is going to be in the kingdom. In the kingdom of heaven, which will be played out on earth when America is destroyed, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be in, a, in full effect. They're actually going to be put in our inward parts. And these heathen nations, they're going to rehearse, have to rehearse our law, statutes, and commandments, right? Or the, or the hammer going to come down, right? You see? And the law that endure forever. So anytime you hear these pastors saying that the laws are done away with and you can eat whatever you want to, he lying like hell. He lying like hell. All they that keep it, they rehearse it because we're in, we in practice mode right about now. We, look, we can't get it perfect, but we at least got to try. We got to at least rehearse it to the best of our ability, right? You ain't got to eat no pork. You ain't got to mess with the next man's woman. You ain't got to worship idols. You see? Or none of that nonsense. You ain't got to be a peanut butter chaser. Or none of that, man. You see? You ain't got to be out here lying. So, so, so some of these laws we can't keep. You see? And someone we can't keep because we're in captivity right about now, but we at least rehearse them to the best of our ability. All they that keep it, rehearse it, shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Can, do, do, can we get any plainer than that? Can we get any plainer than that? The wages of sin is death, man. Do, do we have to get that scripture? Matter of fact, let's get this get secret right quick. Like I said before, this is something quick. The Lord said he's going to judge every man according to his works shall be, man. And the Lord said he come quick. You see this judgment going forth. Let's get this, um, Ezekiel 18, one of my favorite, one of my favorite scriptures, just one of my fierce, favorite, fierce scriptures, Ezekiel chapter 18. Let's get verse 30. It ain't going to be nothing long. I'm already at work, like I said, getting it in right quick. Ezekiel chapter 18, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are edified, right? Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. The Lord will establish fear upon the face of the earth. Once again, Jake will commit a crime. You see? Get judged for it, and then the whole world is in an uproar to him. So why did you do that to him? Damn it, he got judged. The Lord did it to him. He or she got judged for that wickedness. They be out here wicked as hell, committing all kind of wicked acts. Then as soon as they get judged for for being wicked, they get judged for being wicked. You get you get blasted down for trying to break into somebody's house. You try to break into a liquor store. You know what I'm saying you steal a car. You just, a woman commits adultery. She messes around on her husband with another man. Her husband finds out who the man is. He deletes the woman and the man. And in the world, say it, something's wrong with the husband for deleting that woman and the damn man that was fucking around with his wife. That's what I'm saying. This place has to be destroyed. They woe to them. They call evil good. You see that woe destruction. And so we can get that in closing, Lord willing. Ezekiel 18 and 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, a people before it's a place. Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. And, and I'm going through it pretty quick. Like I said before, I'm at work already. Everyone according to his ways. Remember, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He or she that is holy, let them be holy still. Because behold, I come quickly to give every man and woman a reward according to their deeds. Remember that scripture? Revelation 22, 11. You see, Remember that scripture, verse 12 too. Remember that? The Lord said he's going to judge Israel according. Look, everyone according to his or her ways, said the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus. Repent, turn back, remorseful, sorrowful, regretful. You see, 
Stop committing these wicked damn acts, Israel. You see, that ye may say, seek the Lord that you may live. It says, O house of Israel, seek the Lord that you may live. Look, look or not, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, your breaking of the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. We got to rehearse it, Israel. So iniquity, wickedness, sin upon sin shall not be your ruin because eventually it's going to catch up to you, Israel. And look, eventually it will catch up to you. I, I want, I'm on two more scriptures, Lord willing. I'm going to get this right quick. I'm going to get this right quick, Lord's willing. Proverbs chapter 14. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. If, if your wicked deeds and your wicked acts and then your wicked conduct will eventually, like the, like the drug dealer or the gang banger, get blasted and held down him and his damn thug bitch. Then that's saying, no, everybody's morning. Why you do it to him? Why you doing it? Because he was wicked, damn it. What part of that don't you people get? These people are wicked as hell. I mean, you're wicked, 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 wicked. And everybody mourning for him. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man and a woman, but the end thereof are the ways of death. It leads to death. Being wicked, you see, being a criminal, being a thug, being a gangster bitch, you know what I'm saying? Being being a rebellious baby's child. Look, look at these little ninjas, you know what I'm saying? Like six, seven, eight, see, with blunts in their mouth, you know what I'm saying? Holding up plastic blickies and all that in the camera. Tone. So you drop my weed, you drop my weed. What do you think the Lord going to do to them? Proverbs chapter 14. These men and women think, think it's a cool thing to raise their babies up in violence, you know what I'm saying? Teach their babies at the age of five and six and seven, you know what I'm saying? They throw up signs and all this. That throw, you got women telling their little daughter at the age of three to shake their ass. You know what, I'm what do you think the Lord is going to do? There is a way that seemeth right unto a man and a woman, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And Lord willing, the elect is edified because I'm getting edified as I do this lesson. I'm getting edified, you know what I'm saying, through the Spirit. The Spirit is building me up when I bring these scriptures up and, and it is put more fear in me too. We're up under this grace period right about now. Don't take it for granted, Israel. Don't take the grace period for granted, all right? Don't you do it. Don't you do it, Israel. Let's see what I want. I want second chronicles of my pad acting up. So just bear with me. There it goes. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. And it reads that whosoever the Negroes, Latins, and Native American, the so-called Israelites, that whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. What part of that don't you understand? That whosoever the Israelites who the that whosoever would not see that you're not searching for the Lord, you're not inquiring about the Lord, should be put to death. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, it's gonna put you to deletion, Israel. You see, whether small or great, whether man or woman, everybody's getting it right about now, man. And it was another scripture that I was gonna bring up, but it, it escapes my mind right about now. But it's but it's all good, man. And look, and look, and look, whoever perish being innocent, whoever perish being innocent, Israel. Matter of fact, Jeremiah, let's get Jeremiah in closing. Jeremiah chapter 11. Let's just get this. Turn back Israel from your wickedness, man. Jeremiah chapter 11. Verse 11. Just throw this in here. A quick one. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. And it reads, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, once again, who you equally call God and Jesus, behold, I will bring evil upon them. You want to be wicked? You want to be a game banger? You want to be a thotty? You know what I'm saying? You want to be a um, hot girl summer? You know what I'm saying? Tweaker, twerk, tweaker, twerker, bopper, booper. You know what I'm saying? You want, you want to be all that, right? I will bring evil, meaning bad times upon So it's the Lord doing it. You see, you want to be evil. The Lord said, I'm bringing evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. You want to be wicked as hell. And then as soon as the Lord start bringing some judgment on you, and then you, uh, 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 uh. no, man. No, I, the Lord, he, he, the Lord had me remember what he wanted me to bring. I'm going to make this my last one because I got the roll. I'm already at work. This is Isaiah 5. And, um, yeah. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20, and it reads, remember, look, you, you want to be wicked. The wages of sin is death. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Look, we moving on. These ninjas want to be wicked. They don't want to take heed to the word because we just read Romans, the 10th chapter. The word is out there. Everybody know. All these ninjas know who they are, man. This word, the, the, script, the word that went worldwide, you see? 
And, and then the Lord said, look, uh, this word going to go out throughout the four corners of the earth. And then shall the end come in. And these words don't go out void either. You, you either take heed or perish out here in, in a horrible fashion, Israel. Isaiah 5 and 20. And it reads, woe, destruction unto them that call evil good. You, you call evil good. You call gang banging. You call selling drugs. You call performing witchcraft. You call lying and stealing and, and committing adultery. Men mess around with another man's woman. They call that good. Women mess around with another man knowing that they got a husband. You know what I'm saying? Already. They call that good. Guys breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. Women teaching when the scriptures tell them not to teach. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all in the videos. Every video. Women, you better shut it. The Lord's going to judge you women, man. The Lord said, I suffer not a woman to teach. You're trying to teach the Bible, but teach somebody how to cook. C cook a cake. Sew, sew some shirts. Sew, sew some pants. You know what I'm saying? Teach your teach your damn daughters how to clean the damn house up, you know what I'm saying? And wash clothes by hand, because the Lord giving us to shut down all this electricity. Everybody wanna be just like like men wanna do the role of a woman and a woman wants to do a role of a man. That's confusion right there. The Lord set up man to do certain things and the Lord set up women to do certain things. Fall back into your role, damn it. Fall back, learn your damn role. You see? Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, and that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. The scripture says, Woe to them that are wise in their own eyes. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. Look, look, if they can't get it, we moving on. The Lord is judging everyone according to their actions. So don't get mad when you see a two third get blasted the hell down. You know what I'm saying, male, woman, or child, whoever parent. The Lord says, Slay utterly old and young, both maids, males. Listen, just get. I, 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 I'm gonna make enough time. Um, I gotta go, but I'm gonna make enough time. I got to bring the word out. I got to bring the word out. Ezekiel chapter nine. I'm just hit a quick point. Ezekiel chapter nine. Let's just get this. This is what the angels are going to do. This is what this is what the spirits that are created for vengeance are going to do to you Israelites that are not taking heed. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 6, slay utterly old and young. The angels are going to, and they're doing that now. You, you want to be rebased? You don't want to take heed to the word? Slay, man. Slay. And brothers can put the definition of the word slay on the comment board. Slay utterly old and young. You want to be old head? You want to be a young foolish head? You old heads, you young heads that don't want to take heed. The Lord sent it forth the angels to slay you, both maids, which is a young woman of marriageable age, and little children. Look at these badass little children, yo. The angels are going to slay them, and women. And then it came back, you rebellious old ass women, they just want to be talking, running your damn mouth all day. The Lord getting you too. You see, because you're supposed to be an example to the younger women on how to act, how to love their husbands, how to guide the house, how to clean the house, how to sew, you know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. But you know, you just want to dance and shake your ass all damn day. Ain't teaching nobody nothing, but how to, you teaching women how to be like men. You see, for um, what is um, scar lip? You know what I'm saying? God, men don't even act like this. Look at these women nowadays, man. Look at they acting hardcore, more hardcore than the men. But then as soon as the Lord judge, why you do that? Why you do that? She was a female. She was a female. No, she was a damn gorilla. Let's read on. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, the mark of exemption. That the wah. You know what I'm saying from the Hebrew word the wah, which means to be to be um exempt from judgment. Meaning the Lord gave them the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. First and foremost, the names. The proper names in the Hebrew tongue, man. You see, and begin at my sanctuary, then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. So I just want to bring out that man through the spirit. You want to keep being with you get judged. You want to, you want to do the things right according to the Bible to the best of your ability. Everyone's gonna get a reward. You're gonna you're gonna get a reward for rehearsing the righteous acts, and then you're gonna get a reward for for going against the righteous acts. Look, have it your way, Shalom.